Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and in this tutorial I'm gonna show you how to design this candy text effect in Adobe Illustrator. 100% vector, 100% editable, sizable and customizable. So let's start with a new document control and a command N on your Mac to bring up a new document panel. And I'm gonna design with 1920 by 1080 pixels. I colored this one with the solid color the, uh, rectangle so <clears throat> grab the rectangle tool on the new layer i'm gonna grab the rectangle tool or click m and hit once on my canvas i'm gonna tune this constraint width and height proportions and uh, set the width to 500 pixels and height to 500 pixels so uh, we are creating the 500 pixel square click ok to uh, add the uh, <coughs> rectangle and um, head over to rectangle tool again hit again to empty portion of your layer this will be the pattern itself so let's go to the width and set the width to 51 pixels then uncheck this constraint width and height and then go to the heights and set the heights at least to 750 pixels uh, it's important guys 51 pixels 750 pixels click ok to introduce our new rectangle as you can see it's white we need to change the color so bring up the color picker and head over to this uh, pinkish color with the decent saturation and brightness click ok and with this a uh, beam with this rectangle selected i want to head over to the selection tool double click on it to bring up the move dialog box and set the vertical value to zero and horizontal value to 51 uh, multiplied by 2 so which is 102 pixels check preview make sure that distance right now is 102 pixels check preview and click copy to introduce a new copy then ctrl d command d to repeat this transformation six times so uh, we will get eight beams in total eight rectangles in total then draw a marquee around rectangles and group them using ctrl g or command g on your mark you can also use right mouse button context menu okay so let's rotate it on 45 degrees uh, hold shift on your keyboard to constrain the angle and then rotate them just like so all of these group control uh, let's click the control y to introduce the outline mode and i want to position this uh, pattern um i want to make this a uh, beam the outer side of this beam tangent with the top left corner of my square and i want to make the inner side of this beam tangent with the at bottom right corner sorry make sure that you covered all the um, uh, square and uh, you can leave the outline mode by clicking ctrl y command y again so uh, let's bring up the uh, square first on top with ctrl shift uh, square bracket or command uh, shift square bracket on your mark and then select everything by drawing marquee or using ctrl a command a and use your right mouse bot button context menu make clipping mask so clip the mask inside the rectangle so we have this button and we are ready to actually create it by going to the object button make object button make uh, click ok here and Adobe Illustrator wants that this pattern will appear on the uh, swatches panel so then we'll, we need to bring up the swatches panel click ok and this is important size tile to add click here click done to introduce a new pattern field we can delete this rectangle and start with our text tool or type tool uh, as it's called in Adobe Illustrator so type your word size it up a little bit so we can see what is going on and I want to first introduce the new typeface it uh, can set one uh, you can follow the link in the description and download this um, concept one for free okay and secondly I want to increase size up the font itself to 490 
points, almost 500 points, so giant candy. Next, bring up the appearance panel. Let me undock it. You can find the appearance under the Windows appearance. And here, first create two new fields by going to the top left corner and add a new field, add a new field. Uh, first field is supposed to be white, so bring up the color picker and ch change it to white. Second field can be this pattern, so introduce the new pattern. And as you can see, this pattern breaks. So uh, it started with the white, for example, on this letter C, then it ceased uh, and goes uh, the pinkish and then again white. To remedy this pattern, we need to double click on the swatch. So let me bring up also the swatches panel so you can see. Click on this swatches thumbnail to uh, enter again the pattern dialog box. And holding shift and alt or just shift to constrain the proportion. I want to constrain the proportion between width and height. Uh, increase the size of this uh, pattern. What it gives us, it, it's increased the first size of our stripes of the tile itself. So it's completely covered the single letter. Uh, achieve is to make tile to cover the single letter. Click done. And uh, as you can see, we almost done. Let's select it again. And I want to go again to the swatches. Double click on it. Uh, right now, I want to a little bit change the position, uh, pull it a little bit down, and then increase the size a little bit more. Let's try it again. Click down here, and as you can see, right now we have this wonderful pattern, and everything is uh, working like a shell. So let's continue our tutorial. I want to select again this field with the pattern, and head over to the effects. Right now, my aim is to add a little bit more depth to this candy uh, typeface. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the inner glow effect. Go to the uh, stylize inner glow. And here, what we need to do, first uh, set the blend mode from screen to multiply and set the uh, color to uh, 333, so it will be grayish color click ok and set the opacity to let's say 50 percent increase the blur to 10 pixels check a uh, preview you as you can see it adds a little bit of volume to all of our uh, letters and click ok now select this field beneath this white field and let's go and add the drop shadow. So head over to the again stylize drop shadow with the ellipses. And here we need to uh, do the couple of changes. First, uh, you need to reduce the opacity to 35 pixels and X offset value to 2 pixels only. 2 pixels only. Check preview and click OK. Uh, so far, so good. Let's go and create a couple of more uh, fields. So first create one more field. Duplicate selected item. So we duplicated item and we need to put it on top. Just hold left mouse button key and drag. Then I'm gonna delete first the uh, drop shadow from here by clicking on this uh, can icon and then introduce the gradient so click on the gradient slider if you can find your gradient you need to go to the windows gradient here ctrl f9 command of 9 on your mac grab the gradient tool or click g and arrange this gradient from bottom from top to bottom of course so your uh, white color is supposed to be on top of your text all right now go again to the field uh, and uh, uh, click on the opacity to bring up the opacity panel and change the normal blending mode to screen first to render all of the dark pixel to transparent or zero to uh, zero. So we created this highlight and I want to diminish also the opacity set it to 80 and then I want to decrease the feel itself so uh, let's go to the path and offset path 
Uh, here I want to set the offset to negative 7 pixels and check the preview. Ok, um, it looks decent, click OK. Right now to the transform, so distort and transform, transform and I want to push this highlight that we have right now, this one on top. I want to push it on the left and top, so to push it on the left we need to introduce the negative horizontal value to negative 5 pixels, I, will, I think it will be ok, and negative uh, vertical value, negative 5 pixels I will, uh, I'm sure it will be far than enough. Don't forget guys that you can uh, get this uh, text effect via graphic style from vitorials.net just follow the link in the description or click on the uh, top uh, right uh, corner of your screen okay so uh, so far so good let's go and again introduce a new field so click to duplicate the selected item but this time we need to fill it with the white solid color first then we need to go to the offset path and increase the offset value, or, uh, I mean decrease the offset value to negative uh, 22 to 25. It depends on the, your preferences first and secondly on the typeface you are using. Okay, so negative 25 in my case. And then I want to go to the transform again and what I'm gonna do is to push it to the right first, horizontal move to 5 or even 10 pixel and then I want to push it on the top a little bit, so negative 10 pixels on the vertical move. Let me check how it works, it works decent, click OK and finally I want to go to the opacity and uh, I want to of course work with the eyes in normal color or I want to work with the soft light here. Ok, so light looks good for me, I am perfectly fine with it, but uh, last but not least I want to go to the fill, this um, gradient fill, white to uh, black gradient, our second uh, fill from top, and uh, head over again to the gradient slider, so let me unlock the gradient make the transition a little bit more harsh, um, break the transition, the smooth transition between the black and the white gradient stops. So I want to push gradients, uh, black gradient uh, to the left, sorry, and then grab this middle point, middle point, uh, this uh, diamond shaped middle point and push it to the right, so into this case. Ok, probably then I want to push it to location of 60%, so my final location is the 60% for the black color stop. Ok, so far so good, it's, I'm pretty fine with this candy effect and uh, what I wanna do is to finally change the color if I wish by clicking on this color wheel, recolor artifact tool, go to the edit tab grab this color and change uh, change it to whatever you want so guys for example this uh, magenta-ish uh, purple color just like this click ok uh, as you can see it's 100% as you can see also you added a new swatch as soon as you change the color uh, ok guys finally uh, Go and bring up another panel, the fourth panel in this tutorial, go to the graphic styles and click create a new graphic style. So it allows you to first add this uh, effect within one click. So this is my Lauren Ipsum default font and then I want to uh, click on the graphic styles and add this wonderful effect to the graphic styles. Ok, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if you do give a thumb up, don't forget that visit tutorials.net for more Adobe Illustrator and graphic designer tutorials and as always guys you can, you can get these graphic styles from tutorials.net, just follow the link in the description or find the link in the comment. Thank you for watching, enjoy your day!